Between the lines, please. Three, two, one, go. All six robots attempting to venture out into the sandstorm. During sandstorm, it looks like a level three hatch panel place in progress for a member of the Blue Alliance. They are searching for the hook tape on the Blue Alliance rocket as the shades come up and drivers now have full view of the field in front of them. That hatch panel does stick for the Blue Alliance. That was from Tidal Force in Blue Bumpers. They're gonna go back to the loading station looking for more hatch panels to help out the blue side of the field. Mount Clear Robotics 555 in red bumpers. They're going to cross the field to play some defense. Orange Chaos, their partners right behind them. With a hatch panel, they've completely sealed up the lowest level of the Red Alliance rocket. Their final Alliance member, Cyber Knights from Southington, already working on rocket level two for the Red Alliance. Checking out progress on the blue side of the field. It looks like some cargo was dropped by the T-Hawks, but they're able to collect from the ground despite the defense from Mount Clare. T-Hawks, they're going to move into position on the Blue Alliance cargo ship while their Alliance partner, Tidal Force, is working on the opposite side of the Blue Alliance rocket on level three. They were able to place on level three during the sandstorm. They're now trying to finish up the third level of that rocket. That hatch panel does stay in place for now, but only a little bit of hook and loop tape is attaching that hatch panel to the Blue Alliance rocket. Meanwhile, we've got cargo coming in on the red and blue side of the field for three points apiece on behalf of Cyber Knights and the T-Hawks, red and blue respectively. Big Red Alliance lead 52-19 with 45 seconds remaining in the match, but the Blue Alliance is working hard on dropping off some cargo. Tidal Force in blue, we see a solid robot signal light coming from their robot. They're having trouble communicating with their robot on the field. The T-Hawks, their alliance member, is going to raise themselves up onto HAB level three. Currently, they will be able to score 12 points for sitting there until the end of the match in 20 seconds. Southington Cyber Knights up on the HAB as well for the Red Alliance. They are looking for a level three climb. They push themselves on up. They are almost there. It looks like the Blue and Red Alliances have a shot at the ranking point as long as Southington can get up in the final moments of qualification match number nine. Seal the deal.